hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel if you're a new subscriber if you're an existing subscriber thank you sit back and enjoy the ride so in today's video i would be showing you the process of drafting a dress with side ruching or side gathers if i may we will be starting off this video with our front block our basic dartless block as you can see this block has no darts i'm using the basic neckline this is um i've marked out the points the bust the waist the hip and the gown length so i'm a size six and in this tutorial i'll be working on my measurement so i'm going to place my bust measurement my waist measurement my hip measurement all divided by four on this paper as we all know there are two types of designers we have those that use freehand and we have those that use pattern drafting so there's for the pattern drafters you can use the slash and spread method to achieve this style however there's a very easy and simpler way this is the step i will be using and i'll explain further in the video after drafting your block for the slash and spread method all you have to do is to um indicate what point you want the ruching or the gathering at the side to begin from and so you pick that point for me it can be in between the waist and the hip when you indicate that point you can now decide to um, mark out how many inches you want to spread your um your paper apart so if i'm picking in between my waist and hip line now that is um the distance between my waist and hip is eight inches so the diff the midpoint will be four inches i can decide to go in my slashes by two two inches from the side into the body you know this is the front pattern and so the paper is on fold guys and when you're cutting your fabric it's going to be on fold so when you mark out the you indicate where you want your slashes to start from we're going to be using four inches from the waistline we'll mark out that two two inches down to the length of the dress and then we can decide to slash it by as slash it as by as much as we want it to be but like i said earlier that's not the method we'll be using in this method i'll be showing you a very quick and easier method of achieving this so all we are going to do in this easy method is to extend the length of the dress as you can see i'm adding paper to the length of the dress the original length of the dress we are making was 40 inches from the shoulder to the gown length but now i'm going to be extending the length i'm going to be adding paper by as much as i want from 20 inches upwards if i add about 10 inches extra my gathering on the side will be just a little bit i'll be gathering just that 10 inch excess but if i add about 20 inches i'm going to have enough fabric to gather and give a fuller effect on the sides of the dress now that we're done with adding more fabric or more paper to our pattern you're going to just going to be gathering the side of your pattern you can achieve that by using a hand needle that's like one of the easiest methods to do you just use your hand needle and start from the points you indicated in this video we are using the midpoint between our waist and our hip that's four inches so you're going to be starting your gathering from that four inches from the waistline down to the extra length of your dress and you will gather the side of your dress in such a way that you're going to get the original length of your dress if you notice when we're starting this video the original length of our dress was 40 inches but by the time we extended paper it got to about 50 but remember this is because it is paper i would advise you to add up to 20 inches to get a full effect from the sides so you're going to be doing your gathers or your pleats whatever style you choose you do that you do that till you get the desired result what you are going to be doing in this method is to take a tape rule and you keep checking when you do your gathers to make sure you have not reduced your gown length while you are gathering the sides of your dress so as you can see in this video we have done the side gathering and we're having 46 inches as our gown length and the original gown length was 40 so we'll gather some more till we get that 40 inches like i said earlier there's another tip to do this side gathering so as not to fall short of fabric so you can start by the measuring the points you start your gathering to the gown length so if the point where you started your gathering to your gown length was say 20 inches you take a piece of paper 
exactly that 20 inches and then you put your fabric on that paper and pleat from the beginning of your ruching from the beginning of your gathers you pleat it on that paper till it gets to the end of that paper that 20 inches that way all your excess fabric is pleated on that 20 inches so now we're going to the back block and our back block we are using the standard black neckline measurements which is one inches our shoulder line we've done that so we'll be indicating the points this is the bust point the waist point the hip line and our gown length which is the same thing as the front pattern you know for the front pattern it is cut on fold for the back pattern it is cut in two pieces with one inch kept aside for your zip allowance so the same thing you did for the front piece you do for the back piece you mark out where your ruching is going to start from in this case remember we use the midpoint of the waist and hip line which is four inches four inches from the waistline or four inches above the hip line and if you notice in the picture you would see that for the front block or for the front bodies the ruching did not get to it only went from side to side in this back block you can choose to create a different style by creating gathers in the center back as well you can decide to make your gathers start from the waistline or from in between your waist and hip line it is your choice your client's choice or whatever design you are creating in mind so like we did for the front we're going to be adding excess paper more paper to the gown length so that we'll have enough to gather from the sides and from the center back gathering at the center back gives your design a very beautiful look it gives the wearer a very it gives it, the wearer a kind of flattering look on the butt area if you gather the center back so here we're going to be attaching our excess paper so that we would have enough paper to or enough fabric to gather on the side and on the center back to give us a full like look. i said when we're illustrating the front you would have to add excess fabric of about 20 inches upwards if you want a full gathered effect on your dress so you would gather and gather till the point where you started your gathering from in this case remember it was from the midpoint between the waist and the hip like we said for the front while gathering you take your tape measure and you constantly measure to make sure you are not reducing your original fabric length or you use the other trick i explained earlier in the video so you constantly check to make sure that you are gathering the right amount of fabric and with that guys we have come to the end of this tutorial i hope you found it useful and helpful kindly leave any questions you have or comments in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed kindly do so thank you in the next video i'll be doing an illustration of the pop collar and how to make it sit well on the neckline of your dress hope to see you next time bye